Good morning and welcome to St. Ambrose. Our opening song today is number 497, Love Divine, All Loves Excel. <coughs> 497. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. Happy Father's Day. Thank you. Yeah, so today being Father's Day, I would like us to pray for all our fathers, living and deceased. Beginning from here, that way. <laughs> now let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
strength of those who hope in you. Graciously hear our pleas, and since without you, mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I too will take the crest of the cedar from its topmost branches, tear off the tender shoot and plant it on a high and lofty mountain. On the mountain heights of Israel, I will plant it. It shall put forth branches and bear fruit and become a majestic cedar. Birds of every kind shall dwell beneath it, every winged thing in the shade of its boughs. And all the trees of the field shall know that I, the Lord, bring low the high tree, lift high the lowly tree, wither up the green tree, and make the withered tree bloom. As I, the Lord, have spoken, so will I do. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are always courageous. Although we know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord, for we walk by faith, not by sight. Yet we are courageous, and we would rather leave the body and go home to the Lord. Therefore, we aspire to please him, whether we are at home or away. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each may receive recompense according to what he did in the body, whether good or evil. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, This is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land and would sleep and rise night and day. And through it all, the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how. Of its own accord, the land yields fruit, first the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wills the sickle at once, for the harvest has come. He said, To what shall we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed, that when it is sown in the ground, it is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them. But to his own disciples, he explained everything in private. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. young, uh, my mother used to like to cook beans for us. And uh, I would help her uh, in the preparation. So before she cooked the beans, we would pick out the bad ones. And the, those the bad ones, the dirty ones, we would uh, uh, sort them out. And then she would throw them away. Uh, uh, at the kitchen garden there, close by, and only cooked the good beans. But when the rain came, 
those bread and dirty beans sprouted, became seed in the ground. The plant became a grill, gave flowers, vegetable and fruit, and it looked beautiful. So we realized that those bad beans had the potential of growing good beans. And this is actually the rule of nature. And it is the same with life. All of us are full of potential. Now from our readings today, at the first reading we hear uh, about this allegory of the cedar tree. And just to put it into perspective, what was happening then? The Jews or the Israelites are in captivity in Babylon. They are suffering. And why did they end up there? Because the king of Judah, Zedekiah, instead of trusting in the Lord, actually sought alliance with the Egyptians. Of course, they were defeated and they were, they, are, they, uh, they were taken to captivity. And life has not been so good over there. Now, the prophet Ezekiel comes in to give them hope and is using this allegory of the cedar tree. The prophet announces uh, to, the, uh, to the people of Israel that God will allow a new creation. God will open a new chapter for them over the ruins of Israel. From the seeds of faith in them, God will make a new nation for himself. So that cedar tree would stand out. So uh, the Davidic uh, dynasty uh, uh, will come in, into being. It will be everlasting. Then from the gospel reading, we see Jesus likening the kingdom of God to a mustard seed that with the requisite conditions grows into a big tree. So from that seed, that it is deemed weak, a strong tree comes to be. From that seed that is presumably useless, something useful emerges. From the seed that is small and insignificant, a great tree is born. So from that little, that potency comes an, act uh, an actuality. So that power in the seed I would like us to, uh, to think today, now translating all that into our faith. What is that seed? I would like us to think of this seed as our faith. So think of your faith as being a seed, a small seed. Think of your family as being such a small seed. Think of the seeds of education. Think of the seeds of morality. Think of the words uh, we, utter, uh, we say, the words we use. Think of them also as seeds. And then, I try to table all this in our hearts and see, are they capable of producing immeasurable results? Are the seeds kept under favorable conditions to produce great trees for generations to come? St. Paul in the second reading uh, tells us that uh, the time for judgment is beckoning, it's coming. So let us make use of our God-given master seeds to the best of our, of our ability. So to bring forth something 
great and beneficial for even generations. So think of that seed and see how you can nurture it and let that potential kind of explode. Today is also Father's Day. Fathers too, just like mothers, take part in nurturing the seed. So I would like to offer uh, what, I, what I'm calling the four P's P, uh, for an ideal father. Of course, after the example of St. Joseph, now I'm talking to the father now. Four P's. Pastor, prophet, petitioner, and progress. Now for the fathers, just as like the priests are the pastors of the, of the parish, taking care of, of the parish, the fathers too have that role in the family, leading and nurturing that seed in the family. Prophet. A prophet is one who proclaims. So a father proclaims in word and also in deed by doing what is noble and what is good. Now such deeds uh, will provoke what, what we call the dad stories and which will nurture the children until uh, the time they die. So that is why you see during funerals uh, people give dad stories uh, of those good things. So a, a father is a prophet. Then a father is also a petitioner. And here I mean one who prays. He petitions, he prays for many things, especially for his family. I remember this example of this this little boy who was five and was left alone with his father. And at bed, uh, bedtime, the, father, the dad prepares him for, uh, to go to bed. Then the boy says, I've not said my prayers. Okay. So the young one go, uh, prays and says, Dear God, make me a great, big, good man like my daddy. Amen. Then after a few minutes, he uh, went to bed and he was asleep. And the father was touched by that. And he also knelt and prayed and said, Dear Lord, make me a great, big, good man like my boy thinks that I am. So a father, a man of prayer. Then finally, progress. Fathers are always something of an unfinished product, always under construction. And who helps in this uh, ongoing formation of, uh, of progress? Uh, this father uh, tells it very well. Uh, one, one evening this father says at the table, after spending the entire dinner correcting my son's table manners, I turned to my wife and said in exasperation, exasperation, will the training never end? The boy's training never ends, my spouse said. He just marries and his wife gets a job. <laughs> and please, stop talking where, with food in your mouth. <laughs> so progress. So remember, the pastor, prophet, petitioner, and progress. So for our fathers. And that way, we'll keep nurturing that small seed of faith which will grow. So on this Father's Day, let's pray for all our fathers, living and diseased. And one last recommendation. If, if your father, uh, the fathers who are still alive, call them 
and uh, if they are not if they are not around, pray and our Father for them. And over there we have some cards also. You can get one there and uh, write a card to him. That will be something nice. So we pray for all our fathers today, and we pray that the seed planted in our hearts that potency may explode into actuality. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us now arise and pro profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from light, true God to true God, begotten and not made, consubstantial of the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified on the conscious island. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with his scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son comes the Lord and the Lord of life, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us now lift up our prayers and petitions to the Lord. That our Holy Mother Church may continue to receive the help of Christ in using her prophetic voice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all people may come to know that Jesus is Lord of heaven and earth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the seeds of faith planted in our hearts at baptism may continue to flourish and grow towards spiritual maturity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our earthly fathers, stepfathers, godfathers, and grandfathers, living or deceased, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the souls of the faithful departed may find eternal peace in God's presence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those in our book of intentions and those calling and requesting prayers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our sister diocese in Lodwa, Kenya, and our sister parish in Guatemala, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our St. Ambrose parish family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For Deacon David Bartholomew and John Meninga, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let us now invite the intercession of our Blessed Mother as we pray. Hail Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our song during the preparation of the gifts is number 432. How great thou art. Four, three, two.
sisters and brothers that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the church. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of our human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant we pray that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder. To rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willing into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward our bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph her spouse, 
for the blessed apostles, St. Ambrose and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever. command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom and power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. 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 Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my life. But only say the word, and my soul shall be
Our communion song is number 510, We Remember, number 510.
In today's bulletin, you will find a two-page resource in preparation for resuming the tradition of receiving the precious blood of our Lord in Holy Communion. A warm and happy Father's Day to you all. The ushers after Mass today have a picture of St. Joseph, patron saint of fathers, for every man in the parish today. These images have been blessed by our own Father Albert, and in no time these blessed pictures will be collectibles, and even some days, relics. <laughs> I don't write them, I just read them. It is only six weeks to the third annual playing of the St. Ambrose Annual Golf Tournament. This is a good-spirited, fun-filled event where groups of four golfers put together their best game to have something to laugh about over the post-tournament lunch. Yes, there are prizes. And yes, the best golfers usually win them. But it is a good time, and it makes a little money for the church. Drive out. Pitch in to make a success of this year's St. Ambrose Golf Tournament. Play if you can, volunteer to make the event happen, sponsor a hole. It all helps to make a great event for all who take part. There are registration forms in the festival or call the rectory and we'll send you one. May God bless us all. Thank you very much. So let us keep planting and nurturing that seed. Let us now arise and pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O oh Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our closing song is number 433, Canticle of the Sun. 433.